It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. B.J. Palmer, president of the Palmer School of Chiropractic. Dr. Palmer has developed the principles and practice of chiropractic and is recognized as the world's foremost authority on chiropractic. His subject is the spine and health. Dr. Palmer. People find it difficult to understand why the chiropractor confines his work to the spine when remote parts of the body are diseased. Superficial thought would indicate that the organ or part affected should be dealt with, but a thorough consideration will convince the unprejudiced that if the cause of disease is due to pressure upon nerves as they emit from the spinal column, it is quite logical to confine one's efforts to the spine for correcting the cause by adjusting the vertebral subluxation that is creating the pressure. People do not find anything strange or unusual in the procedure of pushing a button in the wall and getting light from the electric globe suspended from the ceiling because contact is made which forms a connection between the source of the current and the globe itself. This procedure is practically the same as that which the chiropractor follows in adjusting the vertebral subluxation that is creating pressure on spinal nerves. They may be compared to a complex system wherein the brain is the source of the vital nerve energy responsible for all function in the body. This vital nerve energy sent from the brain through the nerves may be compared to the electricity in the lighting system. It makes no difference whether it be the heart, stomach, kidneys, or some other organ. The normal function of all organs, muscles, and tissues of the body depends upon the supply of vital nerve energy conveyed to them over the nervous system from the brain which generates this nerve energy. The cause of dis-ease is due to the subluxation of vertebrae which produce pressure upon nerve trunks and interfere with the normal transmission of vital nerve energy. Therefore, chiropractic locates the point in the spine where nerve pressure exists due to a subluxated vertebra and by proper adjustment restores such subluxated vertebra to its normal position thus releasing pressure on the nerves involved and removing the cause of dis-ease in the body. When this is accomplished, health is the natural result. The average person who is sick may have a general understanding of the functions of the various organs of the body. The same as the average automobile owner may possess general knowledge and understanding of the mechanical construction and operation of his machine. However, if something goes wrong, and the efficient operation of either the human or mechanical machine is impaired, the wise individual engages the service that has demonstrated its ability to correct the cause of the trouble. Results naturally count. Nowadays, the motorist who has occasion to travel extensively is interested in the mechanical performance of his automobile, in road conditions, and the shortest route from the place of starting to the point of destination. He invests in a road map, figures his mileage, selects the best roads, and thus saves money and reaches his destination in the most safe manner. Chiropractic offers to the sick the best and safest road to health. Thousands of men and women who had given up hope of being restored to health have been made well by the competent application of chiropractic. Medicines and drugs never cured anyone. Medical authorities admit that. Instead of seeking to treat effects uh, with effects, the chiropractor finds the cause to the effect known as this is, and by proper adjustment to adjust and correct that cause. Every man, woman, and child should realize the health benefits obtained by keeping the spine in normal condition. Consult a responsible chiropractor in your community and have your spine competently analyzed.